Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, passion for excellence. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Auto Line Daily for Thursday, the last day of September 2010. I'm Murray Feldman, Fox 2 News here in Detroit, and you guessed it, it's my turn to fill in this week for John. He's in Europe covering the Paris Auto Show. Lucky guy. Anyway, here are the top headlines from the global automotive industry today. Looks like talks between Nissan and Daimler about sharing engines and platforms is progressing nicely. Bloomberg News reporting the two automakers are hammering out a deal expected to be completed on Saturday. According to the article, future Infinities will be built off an existing Daimler architecture. The unnamed models will also offer Daimler diesel engines. They'll be sold in Europe, the United States, and also in China. Even though it still feels like the economy is stuck in neutral, the auto industry is seeing some glimmers of hope. If a forecast published by PricewaterhouseCoopers turns out to be true, things are on track to get a little bit better. According to Wards, the accounting firm is projecting that capacity utilization in North America will hit 95% in 2015. You know the rule of thumb is that a plant breaks even when it's running at 75 to 85% capacity. Anything beyond that? Money in the bank. That means OEMs could be poised to rake in record profits. Automakers are on track to hit 80% this year and exceed 90% in 2011, largely because the Detroit Big Three closed so many of their factories and streamlined their operations. But the European competitors haven't made those difficult decisions yet. Their rebound not expected to be as strong. Yesterday, Delphi announced it's teaming up with Witricity Corporation, which makes wireless energy transfer technology. They'll develop wireless chargers for vehicles. Listen to this. The system would not need plugs or cords. The driver simply has to drive over a wireless energy source that sits on the ground, and it automatically transfers the power to the battery. Let's hope it doesn't sterilize men and zap your cell phone. The system can transfer over 3,300 watts to charge a car, which is the same rate as a residential plug-in charger. Delphi says the technology could be integrated into a design of a vehicle, but there's no word on when it could become available. So that means your firstborn and your cell phone, okay for now. Peugeot and Mitsubishi extending their electric vehicle relationship. The two companies already have an agreement that will supply Peugeot with EVs based on Mitsubishi's iMyEV. And now the AFP reports that the two will develop light commercial vehicles together. The car makers said that they will develop electric versions of the Peugeot Partner Combi Van and the Citroen Berlingo. Look for production to start by 2012. In other Peugeot news, its parent company, PSA and Ford Motor Company, announcing that they will continue their diesel collaboration. According to Wards, the two will develop and produce a range of Euro 6 compliant diesel engines for light vehicle and commercial use. The new lineup is scheduled to begin production in 2013. The two companies have partnered on diesel engines over the past decade. Big Brother is watching, literally, according to the Associated Press, California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger signed a bill into law yesterday allowing windshield-mounted cameras to record video and audio inside vehicles. The measure is designed to promote safe driving, particularly for vehicle fleets, and to record data if there's a crash. Only 30 seconds of information may be stored. Of course, there are obvious privacy concerns around the law. Let's hope it doesn't spread any farther than California. After the break, I'll share a few of my thoughts on a critically important, though often overlooked, part of the automobile industry. Introducing Bridgestone's third generation of run-flat tires with groundbreaking new Bridgestone technologies. Bridgestone run-flat tires offer improved ride comfort, lower rolling resistance, and improved wear while giving you the peace of mind and comfort you need. Finally, the domestic automakers have things right where they want them. Consumer demand is up, product is rolling off showroom floors, some Chevy dealers are saying they could sell two or three times as many vehicles as they have. So companies like General Motors are boosting production. Sounds pretty good. However, that is now creating another problem, suppliers. You see, many of them have been barely hanging on during the automotive downturn, and they're undercapitalized. They reduce their cost, they cut workers, they shut down some of their lines, but now they're being asked to fund increased production and they can't afford to do it. Sheldon Stone is a partner in the turnaround firm Amherst Partners here in Metro Detroit. He has many clients in this jam, and he tells me that their collateral base simply won't support an increase in production. He's already seen one supplier go out of business simply because they couldn't meet the increased production, couldn't afford to. So let's hope people keep buying new cars and automakers continue to do more business, but that production increases come slowly, slow enough to keep suppliers in the loop and in business. If not, Automakers may find their supplier base is shrinking, companies going bust at a time when they can't afford to have that happen. 
It could impact nearly all automakers here in North America, and it could become the next automotive crisis. Now on a lighter side, join us for AutoLine After Hours tonight. Mr. Peter DiLorenzo himself is hosting the party. It starts at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Special guests include David Welsh from Bloomberg Business Week and Gene Halliday of Advertising Age. Should be a good show. You can watch it live on our website, AutoLineDetroit.tv, or download it as a podcast from iTunes or Zoom Marketplace. And don't forget to leave us your questions and comments on our Google Voice number. Just dial 1-620-AUTO-LIN. That's auto line without the E. Again, that's 1-620-288-6546. We'd love to hear from you. And with that, we can wrap things up for today. Murray Feldman from Fox 2 News in Detroit sitting in for my friend John McElroy while he's in Paris on business. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.